All right, two pipe system on primary secondary. Here's one way to do it. Now again, the big advantage of primary secondary is everybody's going to get the same temperature water. So as we leave at 180 degrees on this, what we call a crossover bridge going into the return is 180 degree water as it is here and here and here. And this is the same job we looked at earlier. We've got 245,000 BTUs, 125,000 BTU on the indirect, 40,000 on the baseboard and the two radiants. So since we're working it this way, we're going to take the hottest stuff first and the coolest stuff afterwards. And it really doesn't matter which way. I mean, I, I've reversed it because everybody's getting 180 degree water. So I reversed it. It still worked out the same way. Works like a dream, but it does cost more to do. Now, when we figure out the size of the main, the way it's done on the engineering end is we look at the blending of these temperatures coming back. And when we come back, we get a temperature over here and a temperature over there. And that tells us the temperature that we need and the pipe size that we need. I can tell you one thing about primary secondary though. If you're working with a 20 degree temperature drop on systems that have both high temperature stuff and radiant stuff, you're, you're leaving money behind on the job because you're working with temperature drops that are too close together at 20 degrees and you're using pipes and valves and fittings and pumps that are too big. So if you want to get a better handle on this, go to heatinghelp.com and get a book that I wrote called Primary Secondary Pumping Made Easy, and it takes you through all the math on how to figure out the pipe sizes to save the maximum amount of money on every job you'll ever do that involves primary, secondary, with any kind of radiant mixed in.